Here's an example of one of the images we got just last night. Um, seeing was, this is kind of a typical night, not the best night, not the worst night. Each one of these blobs here is a star. And what you see is each star is distorted. That's what the atmosphere does. It's like looking through a pond. Like you want to look at a penny at the bottom of a pond, and the water's moving, and it looks all distorted, and it looks different every time you look. So this is one exposure, and the next exposure looks like this. By superimposing thousands of these pictures taken overnight, the computer can compensate for the atmosphere's distortion, producing a detailed picture at the center of the galaxy. You can see the position of the stars very accurately. If we go in to the center here, rescale it, we actually see that there are fainter stars towards the center of our field of view. And these stars are extremely important. It's the motion of these stars that revealed the presence of the black hole. Gez has been following the motions of these stars for the last five years. If there was no black hole, they'd be moving very slowly. But she's discovered they're circling at speeds of over a thousand kilometers a second. These stars that we've been watching are two light weeks from, this, uh, from the center of our galaxy. So their motion, the fact that they're going a thousand kilometers per second, tells us that within two light weeks, there's two million times the mass of the sun of matter there. There's only one thing in the universe this dense. Lying at the center of this necklace of spinning stars is a supermassive black hole. You can't see it, but it's there. The most destructive force in the universe is lurking at the heart of our very own galaxy, the Milky Way.